My name is Sean Ross. I'm 20 years old from New York, and I am a professional model. Well, I grew up in the Bronx uh, from birth all the way up to the age of 15, where I went to elementary school and middle school. Um, I did all types of uh, dancing, and um, I, I don't know, it was just really cool just living in like this this New York City urban environment where it's so cultural, you know, especially being around like this um, Caribbean type of lifestyle. Um, I'm not Caribbean myself, but um, it was it was really cool. Um, it's definitely an experience. My background: I'm African American, but I recently found out that I am um, Blackfoot Indian and Italian. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I uh, used to be a dancer. Um, I danced for many years. It was just something that I had a passion for. And I started to go take some extension classes at Alvin Ailey for a couple of years. And um, I also um, got interested inside of the voguing ballroom scene kind of thing. And I started to like do a little bit of voguing here and there. Voguing is a Voguing is a, a, a dance that is, you know, of movement, of, you know, like this type of, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a movement where you are very, it's, it's a way to battle against somebody. It's almost like in the 80s, um, in the 80s when you wanted to fight, either you fought or what you did was you break dance against each other, you know, and it's kind of like, you know, like capoeira where you go against. So, voguing was used for, in the 80s, for, you know, homosexuals to express themselves um, without fighting, even though they probably fought anyway. But it, it allowed them to battle each other, you know, I don't like you, you don't like me, okay, you know, let's take it to the dance floor. And it's, you know, using shapes, you know, symmetrical shapes. And it has gradually changed over, throughout the, the decades, um, you know, from it being, you know, something where it's, um, you know, stretching and gymnastics, a lot, a lot of gymnastics. Um, but I started to, do um, voguing and I put it up. I put up a YouTube video, and uh, this boy named Shamir Khan came to me and asked me, "Hey, like, how old are you and how tall are you?" And I said, "Well, I'm five eleven and I'm 16." He was like, "Well, I think you could be a model." And I'm like, "Uh, whatever." <laughs> so I went and I told my mom. I'm like, "Mom, hey, this guy wants me to come downtown. He wants to take some pictures of me to be a model." And my mom was like, "It's probably like Barbizon. It's probably like a gimmick, you know." I'm not going. I'm like, no, mom, let's just go, let's go. So we went, and I did a test shoot with him. And an hour later, he took me to an agency and I got signed 10 minutes later. I don't want like, to be a person that looks in the past because, you know, I'm happy about my past because my past got me here today. It's, it's nothing that I, I, I would change, you know, people always ask me all the time, like, if you could be black, if you could have a color correction, would you ever? I'm like, nope. And they're like, why not? I said, because if I was to change my color, I'd probably look like you. My personal style is, it's changed over time. It's very, it's went from this like crazy, absurd, like, club kid to this reserved um, young man. It definitely has went through its evolution. Um, today, I really, I don't pay that close attention to clothing, you know? I just put on whatever it is because at the end of the day, I tell people, you know, the garments don't wear you, you wear the garments. And if you don't have the personality for the clothing, it just won't really read right, you know? Um, it's almost like, you know, uh, like a casting for a campaign, you know, you have to cast the proper model, the makeup artist, you know, the vision just all has to make sense. In shoots in the past, I have been styled androgynous, not as androgynous as Andre Pejic, but, you know, he takes that title. But I, I have been. I think it's just because, you know, people have this fantasy. Um, I am an object of fantasy, you know, it, it's some, it's, it somewhat seems unreal to people sometimes, so they like to play on that. Um, they like to make you into a character, or whatever it is they want to. I've been dressed um, very clean, to very androgynous, to, the, not, to not even nothing at all. They're like, we just want you. 
We want you to be the piece of art. Make it.